You're from USC, right? You're hold on. You're yes. you're a grad student up here. You're you're a law student, right? Yes. First year law student. I'm, I'm a first year law student. Um, King Hall just graduated USC in May. Oh well, congratulations on that. How do you feel so far about this game in the first half? The way it's going. Well, I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm all that surprised because I think going into this contest, USC. I mean, last year they were really beat up. They were 11 and 20. That's the most losses that they suffered yeah. suffered in a season since uh, the late 90s. So oh, wow. they come in real hungry. Uh, UC Davis last year came into USC at the Galen Center. Yeah. got like a nine-point win. Yep. So I knew USC was going to be aggressive. I'm a little surprised as to the production, though. When you take a look at uh, what's going on via the statistics, Cassie Harbert's only standing uh, with uh, two points right now. Cassie is bread and butter for USC. Okay. So Araya Crook coming through. Uh, with uh, 12 points, you got Alexis Violatama and Kiki Alafatuli with the size. The size advantage I knew was going to be trouble for Davis, but yeah. the reason why UC Davis is still in this is because they have kept Cassie Harbert's production in check. Yeah, you know what? I agree with that as well as, I mean, if we look at these stats too, you guys, you guys, uh, USC has three three ladies in foul trouble. They have three personal fouls, and as we know in college basketball, uh, men or women, you only get five until you you foul out. It's not like six in the pros. So, I mean, so USC has a four-point lead at halftime right now. Um, what, what do you think? Uh, do you think the, the Lady Trojans are going to hold on to this lead? Uh, or do you think the foul troubles that they've been, uh, I guess, mired with in the first half, do you think they rear its ugly head? I mean, how deep is that bench? Well, I mean, the bench is not entirely deep, although no. they, they only lost one player, Christina Marinacci. So everybody's returning. So they okay. have the experience. So I would look to Kate Oliver, Brianna Barrett, uh, Desiree Bradley, who plays, you know, they, they have a lot of talent. So the bench is there. But if Araya Crook goes down, because she already has, what, three fouls right now? Yeah. And uh, Viola Thomas got three fouls as well. Uh, things can get very difficult for kind, USC. Kind of hairy. Yeah, especially on the road. So if I were UC Davis, I'd be driving right down the middle, try to see if you can knock Viola Thomas out of the game and, and see maybe if you can uh, sort of rattle Araya Crook. For uh, sure. Especially. That's that's what uh, Sammy and Greg were saying at the end of the first half there on the yes. broadcast. For and, sure, and for that, sure. UC Davis got back in, into the game because of overaggression by USC. You got Viola Thomas throwing the ball to the ground. Technical foul. Can't give enough credit to Kelsey Harris coming through with a three-pointer for before sure. that. Tied the game at 15, and it's been pretty even after that. Yeah, you know what? I, I have to agree with you. I, I think for UC Davis to uh, you know pull off another, I mean, I still call it an upset since uh, you know UC Davis is from the Big West we and appreciate that. and <laughs> and USC is a Pac-12 school. Yeah. I mean, to to make the comeback and pull off the upset here in the second half, I think a they have to keep making their free throws, and b they they can't live that dangerously. You know, like they can't turn the ball over. They can't. Uh, succumb to the to full court uh, press. Uh, I feel like they almost were kind of in and out. They can't really rely on Brianna Salvatore to bring the ball up a lot because she does need some uh, need a breather here or there so that you know she can be ready for the final two minutes, three minutes of the game if it is this close and uh, they need that shot to go up.